In the beginning, there was nothing but a vast, formless void, a boundless expanse of emptiness, devoid of light, sound, or life. It was an infinite abyss, a realm of nothingness where time and space had yet to be born. This was the primordial state of existence, the prelude to the cosmos. Then, a golden egg appeared, radiant and resplendent, floating in the emptiness. It shimmered with a divine glow, casting a warm light that pierced the void. The egg, resplendent in its solitude, was a beacon of potential amidst the nothingness, a symbol of life yet to unfold. It was the genesis of creation, the first hint of existence within the void. Inside this egg was Brahma, the creator, waiting to be born. Encased within the golden shell, Brahma lay dormant, a divine spark in the heart of creation. The egg, a cradle of cosmic energy, nurtured him, preparing him for the moment of his emergence. This was the dawn of divinity, the inception of life, and creation from the void. After a thousand years, Brahma split the egg into two halves. With a divine force, the golden shell cracked open, revealing the creator within. The halves of the egg transformed, one becoming the sky and the other the earth. This marked the beginning of a new era, the birth of the universe from the golden egg. One half became the heavens, a realm of celestial beauty and divine serenity. The upper half of the golden egg transformed into a vast expanse of azure, dotted with twinkling stars and radiant celestial bodies. It was a realm of ethereal beauty, a testament to Brahma's divine power. This was the birth of the heavens, a sanctuary of tranquility amidst the cosmos. The other half transformed into the earth, a vibrant sphere teeming with diversity and life. It became a sanctuary for a myriad of species, each contributing to the intricate tapestry of existence. This was the birth of our planet, a testament to the beauty of creation. Brahma, in his divine wisdom, then brought forth the gods. These beings, embodiments of pure light and goodness, were destined to inhabit the heavens. Their radiant forms shimmered with celestial energy, illuminating the cosmos, they were the guardians of virtue and harmony, upholding the balance of the universe. Brahma, in his infinite power, then crafted the demons. These entities, born of darkness and chaos, were destined to inhabit the nether regions. Their forms, a stark contrast to the gods, thrived in turmoil and disorder. They were the harbingers of chaos, lurking in the shadows of the universe. Brahma, with a vision of guidance, then manifested the ancestors. These beings, epitomes of wisdom and tradition, were designed to guide the living. Their spirits, enriched with experiences of the past, served as the beacon for the present and future generations, ensuring the continuity of life's lessons. And finally, Brahma, in his boundless creativity, gave birth to men, these beings, gifted with free will and brimming with potential, were destined to inhabit the earth. Their existence, a blend of fragility and strength, held the promise of growth and discovery. They were the architects of their own destiny, shaping the world with their actions and choices. From his divine utterance, the Brahmins materialized. As scholars and priests, their sacred duty was the quest for wisdom and the execution of sacred rites. From his mighty arms, the Kshatriyas were born. As warriors and rulers, their noble duty was the safeguarding of society. From his robust thighs, the Vaishyas came into existence. As traders and farmers, their vital duty was the conduct of trade and cultivation. And from his sturdy feet, the Shudras were formed. As laborers and servants, their essential duty was to serve the other classes. Hence, the world took form, and the perpetual cycle of life and death, of genesis and dissolution, was set into motion. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, amidst the dance of celestial bodies, 
Brahma, the eternal observer, sat in tranquil solitude. His eyes, a thousand suns, traced the paths of galaxies. As the divine architect, he watched over his creation, a silent guardian of the cosmic order. The cosmos, a grand tapestry of life and matter, danced in the rhythm of time. Stars were born, galaxies formed, and life blossomed in myriad forms. Under Brahma's watchful gaze, the cosmos continued its eternal dance of evolution and change. In the grand theater of the cosmos, the dance of creation and destruction, of life and death, played out in an unending cycle. Stars sparked into existence, only to fade into oblivion, their energy seeding new life. This ceaseless dance, a testament to Brahma's divine power, was the rhythm of the universe itself. The divine order, a symphony of cosmic laws, was Brahma's masterpiece. It governed the cosmos, an invisible hand guiding the celestial bodies, maintaining harmony and balance. Stars, galaxies, and life itself dance to its rhythm, a testament to Brahma's wisdom. This divine order was the heartbeat of the cosmos, ensuring its perpetual harmony. And so, the eternal cycle, the divine symphony of creation and destruction, continues unabated. It is a testament to the divine power of Brahma, the creator. Stars are born, life blossoms, and galaxies fade, all in a rhythmic dance of existence. This cycle, both beautiful and terrifying, is the heart of the cosmos, beating to the rhythm of Brahma's divine will. Thanks for checking out this video. If you had fun watching it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button. You're awesome.